Welcome back to Jeff Outdoors. We're back in the Jeff Outdoors car and we're talking about the Jeff Outdoors diet, part two. We'll do this as a intro, part two intro uh, to the, the Jeff Outdoors diet. So uh, if you watched part one, intro part one, um, I did a brief introduction on <clears throat> kind of what's going on here as far as getting back to uh, doing the healthy thing for 2023. Uh, so, uh, this diet I started in 2011. Uh, I had lost about 30 pounds uh, just in <clears throat> just in a couple of months, two, three, two and a half months, maybe. Uh, so, at the time, I had uh, been spending a few years before that uh, having some, you know, uh, I, gastrointestinal kind of just discomfort, you know, and I just kind of got tired of it. Uh, it's not like I ever had like a, like the worst diet in the world. I just kind of knew that maybe something I was eating was just not not sitting with me right <clears throat> so that uh you know i kind of just got mad <laughs> you know and uh i decided to start doing my own dietary research and uh you know uh, we can go into like a uh, little bit of a wormhole right now with the cost of healthy food versus the cost of junk food which leaves a lot of Americans sometimes to decide, uh, you know, what am I going to eat? And, you know, what can I afford? What can I eat? What can I afford? So, you know, uh, you go to the health food store and every, the prices of everything is generally uh, pretty high, uh, you know, so to speak. So when we look at the price of junk food, we look at the price of health food. Quick, quick sidebar on this, and then I'll get I'll get back on track. So the cost of eating healthy versus the cost of eating junk, topped off with the cost of doctor bills, health care because of the diet of eating junk food. We all know junk food will eventually probably end up landing you in the hospital, at the doctor's office, wherever. Uh, sick, yada, yada, yada. So, you, it's one of those things where you, you get what you pay for. You pay for the healthy food so that you are not sick. And to loop back here, when I started this diet in 2011, I'm gonna tell you right now, and really up until now, you guys, I, I just don't get sick. I was at work uh, during a time years ago, it's probably been, mm, it's, it's probably been seven or eight years ago now, uh, working in an office, I was surrounded by four people, literally desks just in, the, in my immediate vicinity. All four of these people had the flu or, and were getting over at the late, the tail end of this flu that was going around the office. Working in close quarters with these people, people coughing, snorting, all that stuff, coughing and hacking. I did not get sick. I did not get sick. There is there is some kind of connection with the inflammation in the body created by poor diet. And this is my opinion. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, but there is something about eating healthy and the reduction of inflammation in the body that leaves the body more capable 
to fight off invaders. So if you've reduced the inflammation in your body by eating healthy, your white blood cells, your cytokines uh, can recognize those invaders, attack them, and you may have never even known it. So, you know, this kind of is up there with all this, you know, past three years with the COVID talk about viruses and immunity and yada yada. But while on this diet, I'm going to tell you, um, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Um, I, I I just have not been sick. I don't. I haven't gotten sick being on that on that diet. Now I'm getting back into that diet just this week, so I'm already feeling good. You know, when I take the wheat out of my diet completely, and we're talking breads and cereals. Not that I'm a cereal person. Again, if you watch part one, I don't eat cereals. I don't even really eat a lot of bread, even when I was even when I came off the diet this three years ago after COVID started, I kind of, uh, you know, we went into survival mode into the old prepper pantry that we have at home. And we have a lot of, uh, we have some grain products and some wheat products, long-term storage, you know, so we have that. So we delved into that and, you know, I kind of lost track of the diet a little bit, but anyways, I'm already feeling better this week. Uh, one of the big things that you will notice, if you are even sensing that you might have a wheat intolerance or a gluten intolerance or a dairy intolerance, what have you, uh, if you're, you may suffer from a lot of GERD, gastroesophageal reflux, and don't forget that there's something also called silent GERD, which you can have heartburn and not even know it. And it's affecting your thyroid. It's affecting your esophagus. All the all the 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 acid is is going right up your esophagus, and it's affecting your sinuses. It inflames your sinuses. It inflames the thyroid. These are all things that you, you know your gut. Everything is in your gut, and the and your stomach acid, and the state of that. So. Um, I'm already feeling better this week. I, I have, I have had some heartburn, especially over the holidays, with uh, some of the uh, some of the foods I've been eating, you know. But you flip the switch and you get those things out of your diet. Like uh, it's it's been great. I feel really good today. I had my salads for lunch. I had a salad for lunch. I had eggs, uh, two hard-boiled eggs for breakfast, and some. Uh, turkey meat and some Swiss cheese, high protein, low carb. Uh, I, I didn't have my afternoon crash today and feeling good. So uh, it's easier, it's easy for me to kind of just go into something like this or get back on track. I know a lot of people are not like that, which personally I don't understand, but I'm just going to tell you, you got to get mad. You got to get mad and you just, you got to do it. You just got to get fed up and do it. And if you watch part one, I kind of tell, you know, what I kind of tell that, that the beginnings there of that. So, um, uh, feeling good. It's Friday too. And, uh, ready for the weekend. We have, a, we have had a dusting of snow, uh, overnight. So <clears throat> she's letting me go. We got we we got some nice people here in Ohio, you know. We we uh, we help our fellow men. We let people go in front of the lines in front of us, you know. This is not New York City. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, proteins. Cut out the wheat. Feeling good so far on Friday. So this is week number one. More updates to come. Any questions about the Jeff Outdoors diet? Leave them in the comments below. And I'll get back to you ASAP. And thank you for tuning in always. Hit that like button. I'll see you on the next 
Jeff Outdoors Diet. I gotta drive. Okay, bye.